Capricorn. Welcome, Capricorn. I'm going to do a general read for you today, looking at your current desire, or sorry, your current energy, your desires, outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. Cards are not going together today, so this is really weird. Uh, they were going together fine for the last reading, but it just seems that uh, things might just be a bit off for you, that you're just having trouble to getting things to gel. But let's look at what's going on for you. Eight of Cups. Yep. Things ain't gelling, so I'm being mud gelling and walking away uh, towards a different horizon. Your desire is the Hierophant, so possibly some guidance. Uh, this is typically my marriage card in one of the other decks, so we'll clarify that and see how that goes. So marriage, and what I mean by marriage, marriage can be a committed relationship. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle. Uh, things just have completely fallen apart. The interesting thing that I get from this is this is not a negative. Whatever's fallen apart seems to be very freeing. We'll clarify in a moment. The Ten of Wands shows up in what's working for you. You've been at this a long time. Uh, you've been putting in a lot of effort. And speaking of effort, the strength card shows up. So, and that's in what you need to be aware of. So let's go through this. Um, <laughs> I want to go back to the strength card, and I just never, it never really hit me this way before, is this individual is part lion, and she's got this little sheepy thing here and it's kind of like it's taken a lot of strength for her not to bite the head off this thing uh, but that said let's go down and we'll start to clarify what the eight of cups is here this is interesting um we have the magician the ace of pentacles and the queen of swords and i get for some of you this is you know what? I'm walking away from this stuff. I'm done. I'm going to go make my own stuff, create my own universe, create my own things. And I'm going to do it. And I'm doing it deliberately. You're doing it deliberately and not out of spite. Um, good on you is kind of what I can say with that. It's... Um, That's really interesting. The Hierophant. Let's clarify that. Eight of Wands. Page of Cups. Queen of Cups. With the Eight of Wands being here, it's like, for some of you, it's been a while. It's been a while since you've had some guidance or somebody that could be a mentor for you. For others... Uh, it's been possibly a relationship that has, even though it's been, com <laughs> even though it's been committed, uh, yeah, that's the right words. Even though it's been committed, and things sort of cease to surprise you, it's like all of a sudden something does surprise you with this page of cups here something comes in and they do something a little different and it makes you feel wonderful. <clears throat> it kind of makes you feel a little emotional. So it's like for some of you, maybe you're hoping for a change up within the relationship. Maybe things have gotten stale. Um, or with all of this going on, you're really into your intellect and then moving into sort of your heart space <clears throat> or wanting to move into your heart space the ten of swords is clarified by the five of pentacles the page of wands and the devil it's kind of like you feel free the door's been unlocked and 
there is more freedom to be had. And it's like, the feeling I get is it's like the chains have finally been cut off and you're done. You're free of somebody pulling your strings. That's kind of what we got in the beginning. Uh, the 10 of wands. Ah, those are falling out weird. 10 of wands. Ooh, two of cups, knight of swords, and then knight of pentacles. Interesting. It's kind of like, you know, you've been at this a long time. And that's a good thing. Um, this relationship, and maybe you've gone it alone for a long period of time. And something finally comes in and it sort of sets you like, what do I do? For some of you, I get almost that you've been, you've been alone for a long period of time and it's been hard to actually trust somebody and allow yourself to be together and let somebody else sort of fill your cup and you fill theirs equal give and take. And it seems um, really, really chaotic. Um, and that chaos starts to starts to go away once you start to realize that you're sort of in this together, that you're on that same path. I hope that makes sense to you. The strength card, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. <laughs> the words that instantly come to mind is from an a Adam Sandler movie. Um, and I think it was from the water boy. And all I get from this is you can do it. Um, yeah, you can do this. You know, you've been successful in what you've achieved. You've, you were able to think things through. It's like you've gone out on your own and you're able to stay centered despite everything that could be coming at you. And we're dropping cards here. Um, yeah, that was kind of really simple. Um, Page of Swords, Tower, and the Seven of Cups. Uh, things may seem a little delayed. That it's almost like we're testing your resolve. It's like things are getting a little delayed in order to test your resolve. And once it's tested, opportunities come in. But those opportunities can be like, oh, what do I do? Like there's could be a little overwhelming. Or for some of you, you need to be creative in the approach um, to decide which opportunities to take advantage of. Because all of a sudden, these opportunities come in like a bolt of lightning, like, boom, where did these come from? All of these opportunities have come in all of a sudden that I had not anticipated. So interesting. Capricorn, that's what I have for you today. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, I do appreciate you being here. For those that have not subscribed, I would invite you to do so. Please feel free to like, subscribe, or dislike this video. Best of luck this week, and we'll talk to you next time.